Hey guys, welcome. All right, so what I'm gonna show you today is how to do a flush setting or bezel setting, which whatever way you wanna call it by request only. So I'm gonna go over a few things and how to do it, but I'm sure many people do it different ways, which is great. Um, there's many ways to, to do things, but I'm sure to give you some ideas on how to do it. And um, you could always, you know, do what you wish that's best for you. But these are some of the things that we must use. So let's say we take, uh, if we're gonna do some flush diamonds on here, I'm only gonna do one. I'm, I'm just gonna go over some of the theories, nothing, you know, this is the diamond two pointer. And somebody asked, what kind of bird do you use? I'm gonna show you a different recommendation. First, if you wanna drill it all the way through, okay, you have to use, I usually use just a regular drill. If the drill is big enough for the size of the diamond, you could use it that way. I could use a, a regular hot burr after I drill it down, or I could actually use a ball burr, okay? Or I could use this particular burr here, which is like, a, it's a diamond burr, but it's a small one, okay? Now, here's some of the tools to use when you do a flush setting. So I'm gonna take an old tool here. It's a hard burr here. So I'm just gonna break the tip of it, okay? Just like that. That's why I saved them. And I round off the edges on it, okay? So I turn it here, because I want a sharp point here. Not too sharp, though. Okay? So I round that. So when I put the stone in there, I want to clean the bezel, and that's how you do the actual flush. So we could do it, we could burnish it inside like this. So I can put it on this actually, just a regular holder, okay? And we could go about it that way as well, okay? So these are some of the tools that you need. And 99% of the time, to be honest with you, I use the hammer, I hammer the stone in, then I burnish it with this, just to give it a nice, perfect circle. But this is a much more secure, much stronger way of doing it. So when you bezel set, I always bezel the stone inside. I don't just snap it in and burnish it. And there's other ways to do it. You could actually take your beading tool. Okay, so I'm skinny and thin. And we, we could cheat on the inside of the actual bezel. So if you drill the bezel a little bit lower down, so what I mean that you, you drill it below the surface, I could go on the inside of the wall and, and notch a few prongs in each corner. Then I, that way I cheat in it. So that way you don't even have to burnish, you don't have to do nothing. You just do four, one in each corner of the actual uh, bezel itself. So I just want to give you a quick example, okay? So I always recommend you drill all the way through, but if you don't want to drill all the way through, it's kind of like when it gets dirty, it's going to be impossible to clean it. So I always recommend you drill all the way through. So we start here with just drilling it. Okay, whatever you want to put the stone, depends how many you want to do. And somebody asked, you know, what size burr do you use? So when I do my stone here, I always use a burr that's about a little bit smaller. Let's say if you're doing a two millimeter stone, I use 1.8 and I work my way down because I want the stone to snap in, okay? So you could drill it down. So let's take the stone and try it, okay? So let's say the stone here, all right? So if I take my stone, you can see that's really big on there, right? So that's not gonna go in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually drill it with a ball burr or a hot burr. So what I do is I open it up just a little bit because I want it to snap in. Okay, so I go down, I work it very gently down. Okay, so once you're below the surface, so if I take my stone here, okay, pick up my stone, and this thing you can see it went in below the surface, you can see it. Now, what, like I said, what I would normally do, I would take my hammer and I would work around this whole thing, and then I would flush it. But if you don't want to do that, because if this thing doesn't snap in, you take this and you work on the inside of the wall and you work your way around here and you make a nice, um, you know, you want to smush the gold around it here and hold it in, okay? Now, another way, like I was telling you, you could cheat. I could take this in here and I could dig on the inside here and I fold it in. So that way I could just actually work with it. So that way you don't have to worry about it coming out when you try to flush it. You can see how that works like this. But I just want to show you a much a set. Once you secure it, what I do, I hit it with this hammer piece. Okay. 
Now this once I go here, once I see it's inside there, I work it on all angles. To be honest with you, this is, to me anyway, the best way. So that way the stone is in there, is nice and tight. So that way when you actually try to clean it up, you don't have to worry about it moving and rocking on you. So that's in there ready. Okay, so I'm gonna take this here. I'll take this burr that I cut and I shaved it down and I work around it just like this, okay? I work in a circle. All right, so this is it. So this is only to clean it, okay? Now I always recommend you clean, you make that burr really, really shiny. You hit it on the sandpaper, like maybe 1800. And that, to make it really, really shiny inside there, okay? This is it, see, you can see. So I don't have to worry about cleaning it too, too much. So here's what I'm gonna do here. Usually I put a little bit of oil. I use a much finer sandpaper. And I would go on the inside. Can you see me on this side, Noah? Mm. I mean, it's in there, but this is just to clean it, to make it nice and round. Okay. This is it. That's what you do with flush setting. But as I said, always use the hammer. Hold it in and, and hit it around. That's giving you a much more secure stone. We'll be in there for a very long time. And if the stone, is the seat is cut too big, go in there with this, with the graver and notch a few prongs on the edges on the inside, not the outside, so you'll never see it. So go on the inside on an angle like this and groove them in, so that way you'll have it, hold it in place and you could hit, you could hammer it, or you could just run your burr across like this, okay? So just work it in a circle. So let me sit, do it this right now so you can see it. Oh, sorry, you could come this way. See, I work here, I place it here, and I work around like that. Now the shinier this actually bird is, the cleaner it gets inside. Okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this and uh, I hope that helps you, my friend, and uh, make a lot of comments. Thank you for watching.